Hey guys, I'm Jenny, it's on occasion, and today we are continuing on with our Arkham campaign. Bit of a disclaimer. To begin with, though. Bit of a disclaimer. You know what, I'll No, I won't, because he... He has nothing left to upgrade. Never mind, I was going to say, while I'm doing that, I may as well upgrade our bo No, 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 no upgrades for portrait. Grrr. In fact, uh, Radius, my boys, you lot, if you're listening, can you put, like, a dump skill here? Or something. It just has like 50 skill points that you can invest in it. Just so you can get rid of skill points that you don't need anymore. Oh, actually, we can do that. Oh, wow. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> Great. Anyway, can you just put a dump thing here? Because there's, there's always more skill points than there are skills. Just something. Something that we can just stop with the notifications. Because it's, it's really frustrating when you get the notifications. Anyway, it's a pet peeve of mine. So, but it would be nice. It'd be nice for the quality of life thing. But that's not what we're talking about. No. No, the thing I was going to talk about. It's different. So, uh, the the latest patch is out. Right, so the latest patch is out a few days ago now. A few days ago, because, you know, I have to record in advance, or else I'd never keep up the schedule. But, uh, Rakarth is out, and with that patch, um, all of the mods required updating, and so I've had to roll back to a earlier patch so I can play these mods, and I don't know what will break. Um, and if the mods get updated, then I can't roll back to a previous patch because it'll be using the newer mods on a patch that doesn't support it, so I'd have to go to the newer patch, but then some mods might still cause issues. Basically, what I'm saying is I have to just record everything while I can, so um, I'm just tonight, I'm going to have to record the rest of the series. Uh, and it means there's no cinematics, right? You'll, you might notice the last uh, few episodes didn't. I've not been particularly well the last couple of weeks. It's been a bit difficult keeping up the schedule, quite honestly, uh, with the cinematics. Now I've got Rakarth on the go, there's just, I can't juggle both. And now I am literally, like, I have a deadline. Because uh, yeah, these mods, if they get updated and this stops working on this patch and, it, you know, the, the whole campaign might break. Um, that's just, yeah, being a content creator, stuff updates. And uh, when you've got something going on for weeks, it can it can lead to these issues. So we're going to have to try and complete this. Uh, quick sharp, right? Nice and quick. Although I've been just prattling on for two minutes about nothing. So I'm not doing that great. But anyway, uh, everything's good. Unassigned skill points. Do we? Yes, we do. Vashnar, my boy. Have some more skin. Oh, and um, charge better. More devastating. Thank you. Does he still need to be here? I think we've done all the quests. Nope. Nope, we still need to do Sliver Slash. I'd forgotten about Sliver Slash. I had completely forgotten about that. I've also, uh, yeah, there he is. Also, I'd kind of lost Sigvald. I'd forgotten where he'd gone. Sorry. Sorry, Siggy. Let's do it. Let's start Let's start the battle with this. We've got to do all the quest battles, right? So, we can't consider this game complete until we've done all the quest battles. So, this is a good way to start. So, uh, win the following battle with Prince Sigvald, the Magnificent's Army. Jealousy, an ugly word to some, sinful even. What, uh, yet what man or woman fortunate enough to behold the scion of Slanesh can help but harbour a kernel of envy at his cruel perfection? Flanked by scores of devoted admirers wherever he goes, a callous and deadly lord of battle, and spoiled by his indulgent adoptive father, Slanesh, the Geld Prince's every wildly excessive wish is made manifest. But such renown has its price. The champions of chaos are forever searching for more power, and with it the chance to attract the eye of the gods themselves. They are constantly hunting out rivals, and great jewels are fought, with the victor winning further infamy and power. Now a Chaos Lord of Rival challenges Prince Sigvold the Magnificent, driven by envy and lust for power, and with an army of hideous beasts repellent to the Geld Prince. Alright, cool stuff, let's get there. Let's do some Kung Fu fighting. So we're going against uh, Eckold the Charmer. Hello Eckold. He's got, um, Gorby's Chariots. <gasps> we wanted some Gorby's Chariots in our army. <gasps> Cheeky. And Hell Cannons. Not a Forsaken. I don't see these guys making a dent in us, honestly. Just, they're gonna get completely cut to ribbons. Sickly, sinful spectacles stand, shuffle, shamble, and saunter shamelessly in mine scandalized sight. I suggest a solution. Surely such sedition should sour and succumb to Sigvold, the salacious, scandalous, and sensational servant of Slanesh! Son of Sukabai, scion of sordid acts and slayer of squalid serfs! 
See how I stroll, stride, swagger and swirl. Spin, slash and stab at stupid, senseless scum. Soon they shall swoon, shall seek solace and death from sundry torments wrought on them by my strategic, severing, scintillating shower of shivering strikes. Send for the sword. Summon Sliver Slash. It's a great, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just a great speech. I love it. It's a classic, guys. It's a classic. Uh, so, yeah, I quite like this formation. It's a good formation. Yeah, you guys. Right in the middle. Uh, these are the, oh, the mirror guard, right? Uh, no, they're not. Oh, Sigvold, you'd be over there. Good lad. Good lad. Alright. And in you go. I should probably do something about that health cannon, huh? Moving up and around. Um, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, now pretty ugly. Now pretty ugly. I can see why Sigvald doesn't like him. You know, these aren't these aren't pretty. These aren't pretty boys. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I hate to shame him, but he's got to see a dentist. Or I don't know, like it's almost like a beak. You see a vet or a dentist, both. Vet dentist? I really have no idea. Either way, just he needs help. He needs help. All right, come on, guys, get involved, eh? Get involved. <gasps> More vermin approach. Where? <gasps> There's a vermin. Forsaken. Ah, oh, just more forsaken. All right. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good, guys. We're good. All right, keep moving, peeps. Keep on moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and, try and take this down. I'm not sure if it'll work. But we shall soon see. I guess i put you on skirmish mode because I'm feeling lazy. I'm always quite lazy in campaigns, I've got to say. I tend to be quite lazy in campaign. It's, it's nice and chill. It's nice and chill. You know, for playing so much multiplayer back in the day. I tend to just go with the lazy option because, you know, I know it's I'm fine doing it. <laughs> I just know that replenishment will take care of any losses that I may face. Don't have to take it that seriously. It's nice. I like it. I can just get focused on the narrative and the, you know, sort of the world building. And that's what I love. That's what I love about a campaign. So I can focus on the stuff I love. Suits me just fine. Though, um, that laziness hasn't worked. <laughs> Bloody chariots. Right, jerks, a lot of them. Uh, so they all seem to be running over here, so I guess I'll attack there. It'll take me a while to run over there, so... It's all good. Not enjoying the, uh... Hell Cannon damage, gotta say. Eh, yeah, not terrible damage. Not great. It's final transmutation somewhere, I probably would have done better. Okay, let's... Ah, I'm sure I want to overcast it. Let's go with that. That'll do. And they are getting pretty beefed now. I'm going to pull them out in a second. You know what? I think I want the great weapons this side. You guys can run that way. Cool. And, well, this is a nuisance. Can you can you stop that? You're going to get over here to help. Alright, mirror guard, deal with him. Because this is actually problematic. Come on. Come on now. Alright, give yourself a glittering robe. That might help. And he's been a problem too. And all these hell cannons. Right nuisance. Cheeky sods. He's going quite well over here though. Mind you. <laughs> yeah, this flank is definitely doing a little better. Give him that much. Alright. Final transmutation. And oh, that's going to sting. Definitely going to sting. Uh, some doggos. Chosen Solanesh, I guess, can receive that charge. That's fine by me. And uh, now I can get the Chaos Knights to stand back. Oh, these poor Dark Prince warriors. Poor guys. Alright, you hang back. And, uh, yeah, I guess you can bolster some stats. Might as well. Might as well. And, yeah, okay. Echo the Charm is getting absolutely demolished. So, we're good. We're good. Okay, keep on moving. Go up and around. Guys, move back that way. 
And uh, I guess you come in this way. Uh, you're in a bit of a pickle there, aren't you? So, another final triangle station. That's right, another one. It makes me think that none of these have been final. That's how you know we're we're chaos, because we're fibbing. And fibbing is the naughtiest thing to do. It really is. Ever so naughty. Uh, let's blow them up. I guess that's quite naughty as well. Quite naughty. Uh, I need to kill them. <laughs> Alright, come here, health cannon. I have just been letting them keep shooting. It's very silly of me. Alright, come on, boys. Let's keep going, eh? Do, 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 do. Uh, where's the spellcaster gone? Here he is. Final transmutation. That's gonna sting. That's definitely gonna sting. There's a, there's a lot of enemies there. They can have a very bad day. And that means a good day for me. Hooray! Uh, God, these Gorby's chariots. Real nuisance. Let's go get them. Good. And I suppose I should... Let's get with another piercing bolt, shall we? Not piercing bolts, the other one. The other one, it's um, Searing Doom. That's the one. I always get them confused. Every time. Every time I get them confused. Oh, I guess you guys will have to deal with those Chaos Warhounds. Uh, another final transmutation. Let's go with another then. I think we're about to win. It's looking pretty bleak for our opponents here. Really is. So over 100 kills with Varitus. Good. It's done some good damage. So some units start to come back, but... I don't think they'll last too, too long. We should be able to chase them off with our um, cavalry. Lovely stuff. Alright, you head over there. Uh, most things are shattering. I guess everyone can just run off where they want. Guys, ready? If you're not, I can get another final transmutation on these Gorby's chariots. Here we go. That should do it. Although, more units are coming, which is actually quite surprising. Okay, that should be it, right? I mean, those dogs might might prop up the army somehow. Nope, they're gone. Come on, there's got to be army losses, surely. Nope, they're returning. Persistent little sods, huh? Persistent little sods. Although I have been playing on vanilla, so... Yeah, Radius does tend to skew the balance of power a lot. You know, army losses doesn't kick in in the same way with the Radius mod. So, makes sense. Makes sense. But, I still keep getting surprised. I still keep getting surprised. Got that back again. And for once, I can't afford another final transmutation. So the last one may have been the final transmutation. How grim. Although probably not, I could probably get another one out if... Uh, yeah, the battle persists, and it, it is continuing, somehow. Come on, Forsaken. Come back to me so I can kill you. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. Something about Sinesh's army. I find all of his battles always drag on a bit. <laughs> I think we need some more sort of punchy units that can just sort of break stuff quickly. More terror as well to cause those chain routes. So that way when a couple of things route, everything breaks. I think that's the biggest uh, issue. You know? I think leadership dips as enemies around flee. But we don't have terror to get them to actually start running. So, uh, you know, some of our enemies get a bit put off by it all, but not enough to run away. You guys seriously just walking towards me? God, that is so annoying. Oh, i got to chase those dogs down now. Also, the AI just seems to troll me when I'm playing Sigvald. I mean, look at this. The Chaos Warhounds, they're just walking. Some of the fastest units in the game. Just going to stroll towards me. Absolute jerks. Alright, let's speed this up. I don't have to sync cinematics, so it's, you know, <laughs> I can I can play about with the game speeds more. So that's good. Alright, come here. And done. That's a big old green tick. The green tick of chaos, as it's known. It's not called that. But it, it's totally called that. Close victory. Okay, brilliant. So I think we're going to have to bend um, the Sonesh theme a bit. I think I have to add some other things that uh, may, may or may not fit. Just to, just to try and make a, a more interesting uh, army, you know? 
in order to sort of to play not more interesting sort of thematically but more interesting just you know broadly speaking so uh let's enslave them as we always do that's how we roll and here we go we have sliver slash which is fantastic so um yeah we've read that already haven't we or have we jealousy an ugly word to some sinful even no we did read that we absolutely did i uh, didn't recognize the first uh, first line silly me so sliver slash so yeah, let's actually see the proper read-up. Here we go. It is said Prince Sigvald's ornate sword is forged from a sliver of Slaanesh's own blade. So that is six melee attacks, six percent weapon strength, magic attacks, plus six chaos corruption, recruitment cost down by four percent, and post-battle loot up by ten percent. So, pretty good. Not the best magic item in the world, not the best magical sword, but still a pretty nice upgrade. So, um, as you can see, his stats are pretty good right now. 104 and 117 melee attack and defense. Pretty great. That's with, um, actually, that's without the bonuses. Hasn't even equipped yet. So he's a hell of a duelist. Hell of a duelist. Gathering of might, maybe? Should we do that? Actually, better charge. Let's get him a better charge. 82 charge bonus on infantry. He's, he's on foot, and he has a charge bonus that rivals many, many Chaos. units of cavalry. It's pretty great. Pretty damn good. Uh, okay, so now we've moved him. We can put him back into that little tower stance. And I think... Yeah, I think um, Kolek is going to declare war on Baston. Or maybe Hubus. We have Hubus over here as well. Uh, although I think we need to go to war with Clan Angren so we can destroy Talibheim. Uh, although, that's good to see. Bear Sondlings are doing some work. Um, obviously there's a lot of forests here that we should probably burn down. But I'm happy to let them... I'm happy to let it slide for now. I don't like the look of Karak Kadrin. Normally Karak Kadrin have been wiped out by now, so it's a bit upsetting seeing them still alive. So I might have to go get them with Hubus? I'm not really sure. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, oh, you were going to hang out in Middenheim for a bit, weren't you? Because that's going to rebel. So yeah, you just stay there, Hubus. That's fine. You stay there, Hubus. Actually, stay there, Hubus. I don't care if it rebels. As long as I'm next to it, it means I can just harvest the money. Uh, from the armies, so that actually works out great for me. I'll let it rebel, and I'll just rinse and repeat. Okay, self an upgrade available, and that's a lie. It's a filthy lie. That's what I told you about chaos. You know, the fibbing. The fibbing is the worst part. It's the worst thing about it. Right, let's move on. Oh, Fan Chantress is by Old Dorf. Where the hell did she come from? I need to chase her down. And check it out. Bretonia are getting kicked out of uh, Norska, which is pretty good. Very good to see. And the Vanaheimlings are taking more territory along the coast, which is good. That'll be areas I won't have to babysit. Separate fools! You dare come before me, the Lord of the End Times? Hello, Ungrolt. Want a peace treaty? No. Never. Okay, wounds failing. Failing to be. So this guy doesn't need to be here anymore because we have actually all the quests. So I guess I'll have Vashnar start heading, um, heading down this way somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. Down there. Blood for the blood god. The blood god. Did I say glod? I'm pretty sure I said blood for the blood god. You know what? I'm owning it. Blood for the blood glod. The blood glod never tires of hearing the war cry screamed in his name. For the blood glod! Also, Midland's going to rebel. Perfect. You go and uh, you do that. I, I'm fine with it. Okay, now we have a bunch of nurgly boys. So let's do a little trade, shall we? Excellent. Although, actually, I should probably um, leave some more stuff in this army so I can recruit more stuff for Ordred. Uh, or... Actually, no, we want to keep the weird spawn. And the giants, really. Or do you want to give him some giants? Do you want Nurgle giants? God, imagine a giant sneezing. Ugh. You wouldn't want to be near that. You really wouldn't. Um, okay, let's... Okay, let's do that. Because that will put us up to uh, 19 there. So we can actually do a whole new round of recruitment. So... Hang on, which ones was I guessing? A bit of both. We've got more Chosen of Nurgle than Plague Warriors, so I guess we'll get more Plague Warriors. We shall weave the uh, Plague Warriors. Done. 
And that should be able to swap, and that'll put it up to 19. Which makes me think, maybe here... Uh, oh, I've got to record, uh, record, uh, recruit one thing. So what one thing could we recruit that's a bit nurgly, possibly? Nothing. Nothing is nurgly, really. Uh, ideally, I want something with Siege Attacker, you know? But having just a huge pile of Chosen of Nurgle and Plague Warriors of Nurgle, it's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool just having that. But it uh, might lead some pretty boring battles now that I think about it. So tell you what, we don't need this many. Okay, we'll get something more interesting on top of that. So what else can we recruit here? Um, I mean, a bunch of manticores could be fun. A bunch of chaos spawn could be a laugh. Uh, chaos spawn hunter poison would be perfect, but we can't get any. Can anyone recruit any? I don't think anyone can. I think I've destroyed those buildings for everyone, haven't I? Including this guy. Including this guy. Yeah. I could have got to... Yeah. Uh, ugh. What to get? What to get? What's Nurgly? Besides Nurgle Warriors. I don't know. I just don't know. What a problem. What a problem to have. Um, maybe I will go with Giants, you know? Maybe I will get some Giants for them. Give a Siege Attacker, you know? It'll give a Siege Attacker something to do. Although, actually, I mean, Manticores have Siege Attacker, and they would... Would make things a little different. Uh, could also get some Chaos Spawn, just because they're a little different too. We'd nice to have some variety like that. And in fact, Chaos Spawn have Siege Attacker as well. So screw it, let's just go with Chaos Spawn, shall we? Let's do that. I think it'd be a little more interesting to have some of them in the army. Just to add some, you know, much needed stuff that goes blah, 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 blah. You know, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some stuff that goes blah, 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 blah. or else it's not really chaos, you know. It makes sense in my head, guys, okay? It makes sense in my head. Leave me alone, meanies. Uh, so that'll do. That'll have to. Uh, so a bunch of, uh, of, of people called Max hiding out here. Okay, only two and a Kiara. Two Maxes and a Kiara, but still. You know, those two Maxes are twins. Would that get confusing? Probably. Okay, uh, oh, we can build uh, Run Aquarii of Chaos. That sounds like a giggle. So let's do that, but first let's declare war on Baston and have all of our gaggle of friends come and fight him. Friends come and gaggles? I'm pretty sure that's a collective term, right? You get like a murder of crows, a gaggle of friends. Because friends are like geese, although geese are not friends. Evil little sods. Uh, so, melee defense. Uh, let's give that to um, him. I'm pretty sure that five melee defense made all the difference. Uh, raisin plunder. Good stuff. So now that we've declared our intentions, hopefully Baston will turn up a little bit more. Uh, savage bloodlust sounds good to me. The more savage the bloodlust, the better. Uh, let's get ruination, maybe? I mean, ruination does suit him. Does suit Kolek. You know, he is, he is a toppler of wolves. So, having a siege... Uh, you know, be, uh, be, um, uh, 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 what's the word I'm thinking of? There's definitely a word. Uh, having, having it, um, it's on the tip of my tongue, guys. It's on the tip of my tongue. But, yeah, wool fall over quicker. Yay. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Uh, so anyway, it suits him. You know, like how I mentioned, he, he toppled the walls of Prague. So... Siege so hold our time being low is pretty, pretty, pretty good for him, I think. It's a nice little thematic choice. Uh, also, a ruinous altar for Sigvold. That sounds good to me. That's going to lower upkeep, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hooray for that. Uh, I guess you can get that now. And Hubus. Hubus can get something. I forgot we were going to get Hubus, actually. Uh, we were going to go with the Arcane Vortex, maybe, to spread some Chaos Corruption. That seems useful. Um, I think it'd be very useful. Although, nature research rate up would be quite nice too. Hmm. And that would allow him to train other armies, you know, because then I can get the good, the good stuff in the armies nice and quickly. Which would also be pretty great, but uh, you know what, if we're going to camp out, maybe. 
Although that puts up campaign movement range for all characters. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the palanquin of trophies. I want to see how high we can get the campaign movement range bonuses for everyone. Because I've got to say, it does feel like our guys can run quite a distance now. I mean, the fact that he can go all the way to Zizero from there is pretty wonderful. He can almost reach Kuron. Love it. But we should already deal with this first. So come here, you. Give us a cuddle. And, yeah, not even worth fighting. And I'm going to lightning strike just to make it even more unfair. Sorry, Bianca. My ex-girlfriend's called Bianca. Don't read too much into that. Uh, so, let's take this out now. Job well done. And let's raise and plunder. And there goes Grung's Int. So, Trickster's Shard, a shard of pure aqua. Its surface ripples with a malevolent curse bestowed upon it by the Trickster. Any magic users nearby will surely suffer. Okay, you guys head over there. And... Yeah, that's all good. Hubus is chilling. Uh, which... Uh, hang on. Oh, okay, it's next turn. We're going to have the, the rebellion. That's fine. Yeah, Hubus, you chill out there. And Tiro... Eubodicus. I mean, you're just going to wait until you've got reinforcements. That works too. And I think that's everybody, right? So, what next? Uh, should we do erection of ruinous monuments? I think Sigvold will be pleased. Um, so, tributes and monuments for the dark powers ensure the Chaos God's favour. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, Laurel on Forest still can't be upgraded. Uh, this isn't a horde, still. And, oh, Fort Burglars can get uh, upgraded, though. No, it can't. It can only be destroyed. What happened there? That doesn't seem accurate. Or maybe it does? It has different tiers. But, uh, what? I think something broke. I think something may have broken here. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe we weren't supposed to take forts. Never mind. It's all fine. Imminent rebellion, always. And let's move on. Oh my god, I forgot about the agents. We're not actually going to have room to swap everyone over, are we? That's fine. I can sack someone. Here's Ungrim taking more of the mountains away from our, uh, you know, our, our rat friends. And Lewin heading back to Albion to try and defend it. But we do have a lot of reinforcements. You know, we do have a lot, like a hell of a lot of Norskins actually kicking around now. The Vanaheimlings seem to have stabilized. Now they're not getting wiped out every turn. You know, now they're actually managing to field some pretty, pretty big forces. Well, they've got like four stacks within a few turns of Albion. It's pretty good. Another one being recruited over here. Just there. You can just about see it in the fog. But anyway, I think we'll be good. Hey, Boris is coming for us. In fact, everyone's coming for us. Siggy, you, you're up, mate. You're up. And wow, we can just auto-resolve this. I think I might. I, I feel like we've, we've defeated Middenheim time and time, time again. Well, Middenland, technically. Uh, but I feel like we've defeated them so many times now. Uh, I don't think we really need to bother again. But it is quite a big army. We're probably not going to have this much stuff fielded against us for a while. Maybe not until we possibly declare war on... High Elves, or they declare war on us, possibly. That's if they still have survived. I, I don't know if um, the Dark Elves have just wiped them off the face of the Earth yet. Because, um, you know, High Elves and Dark Elves both get pretty pretty swollen in uh, in the Mortal Empires campaigns, and with Radius, uh, in my experience. So who knows? Who knows what the result of that is? But anyway, until we bump into some of them, I doubt we're going to have a bunch of stuff fielded against us that regularly. So I think we have to fight it, really. Okay, so, uh, reinforcements are going just from one direction, which is quite nice. I mean, just sort of push forwards and keep doing that. It's not really, um, yeah, not that, uh, not that challenging, really. So, in you go. Good. That'll do. <laughs> and I guess you move up, but walk, please. Thanks. And let's keep getting some more magic. So the great swords have the potential to do some work to us, but they have such low melee attack and defense. Um, they just aren't the elite. You know, they aren't the best infantry in, uh, in in the roster anymore. You know, there's all the imperial foot and everything, which I think is a disappointment. I think I think with Radius, 
Even with Radius, great swords should still be great swords. They should still be like the top tier. You know? I think they should have some pretty good combat stats. But sadly, they just kind of don't. It's a bit of a pity. It's a bit of a pity. I mean, great swords were a legendary. I understand that, you know, the Right Guard are a brilliant regiment and them on foot, they're obviously very well trained. But, um, I mean, they're very good cavalry, but you can have elite cavalry units and elite, uh, you know, infantry. And, and the great swords really are the best of the best. So I think it's a, a serious pity. You know what? You go up and around. I think you guys are just going to have to get shot in the back for a while, honestly. Because I think... I think we need to get our cavalry around the outside. So, what can I do? That'll do. More magic, please. Uh, who are you? Arch Lecter, huh? And yeah, these guys are just getting mulched. Poor things. Poor little guys. I could throw some dogs at them as well, but I think I've pretty hurt more of our own guys than anyone else. And oh, those great swordsmen got completely demolished. They didn't even scratch us. So more reinforcements are coming, obviously. Thousands of them, in fact. But that's okay. Don't you worry about it. We'll be in. We'll be. We'll be at them in no time. We really will. Right, this should kill a few. And right now, oh no, they're gone. I was about to say, right now, we're just waiting for the, uh, <laughs> the flagellants, the unbreakable units, to get killed, and they're just all dead already. They got killed so quickly. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Just keep keep on them. I'm not going to cycle charge because I just need them to keep dying, basically. I just need them to stop shooting. The armor-piercing damage of these handgunners is basically all that can hurt us right now. It's basically the only thing doing any damage. So, it's important that we stop that from uh, from sticking. What is going on here? Why can't I... What? Is that like a... There must be a rock there somewhere that I was clicking on. Terrain can often have some really weird, you know, weird results. And okay, so that is mostly heroes in there, I think. I think there's, yeah, there's Boris, there's Empire Captain, there's another Empire Captain there. Oh, and a General of the Empire, so yeah, this is perfect. Nice. Very nice. And yeah, now they're all being melted. <laughs> Okay, good. 150 melee attack and 151 melee defense. I think, I think, just a hunch, I think Sigvald might be quite good in a scrap. I think he might be quite good. And you don't all need to be chasing them. So you guys, go about your day, please. And I'm going to throw some random dogs at these people. Because I think that'll be fun. Is there any need for it? No, not really. It probably won't do much. But, um... I can dream. Alright, now let's bombard them. Yeah, things are going well. Alright, you can chase them down now. And, yeah, you just sit there, throw javelins, I suppose. I'm amazed we haven't killed him yet. But we did just kill Boris, I think. I think we just killed Boris. Unlucky, mate. And these guys, these Chosen Slash and these Chosen Great Weapons are holding off <laughs> so many troops. Like, there's literally hundreds of people there. Fantastic. And more reinforcements are coming, obviously. No artillery, though, so I don't really have to worry too much. Um, another final transmutation on this flank. Oh, this would probably be a better place for it. I kind of want to see how many kills our Chosen can get over here. Well, have you killed him yet? Give us ruin. Wow, how is he surviving? Cheeky sod. Oh, that's it, right? There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I shouldn't patronize Sigvald. He will He will do terrible things to me. Alright, let's uh, overcast this, because I think that'll be dramatic. It'll hit my chosen, but I don't care. Okay, that's, that's too many things existing there. I want them dead in a hurry. So there we go. Big damage, and now the Chosen can hack through them. Oh, and you should probably leave, huh? You're in a hell of a state. Poor horseman. 
poor little guys. All right, you keep moving on in and got to the final transmutation. I suppose I'll put one of them over here too. That works. That Boris. Oh, Boris is still alive. How about that? How about that? Also, these handguns are still alive. Let's probably do something about that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, you guys. Uh, I guess go for those halberdiers. Uh, so more wagons and more ranged units are coming in. The ranged units are going to be a bit of a problem. I should have probably been more careful with the cavalry, so I'd have them later, but... I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Don't really need to against um, these sort of forces. We're just sort of winning. There's not much needs to be done. No, starting to run low on magic. We've only got another 43. Okay, we've still got quite a lot of magic. <laughs> Probably too much. So balls. All right, he's doing okay. 55 kills. You know, it's not terrible. I mean, he's got full health, and he has gone toe to toe with the general of the empire. Took no damage. So you know, he's doing pretty well. A lot of stuff wavering. A lot of stuff wavering. Yeah, you run in. So, how much are we getting? It's one every 17 seconds. That's going to take a long, long time. We really are relying on Arcane Conduit to do the heavy lifting, but uh, we've got to wait for that, too. We've got to wait for that, too. So, we'll just have the odd burst of magic, and then we'll have to start over again. Okay, it feels like a chain route. But, you guys know the drill by now. Things don't suffer from army losses in the same way with Radius, so... Could still take some doing. Could still take some doing. Do I have anything else knocking around? I do. Yeah. You know that you're in a good place in the campaign where you have, a, you know, chosen the great weapons and some Dark Prince warriors just chilling, doing nothing. Because you just don't miss them. Like, you don't notice their absence because you're already just cleaning up. It's a bit ridiculous. So, Arcane Conduit. Lovely. And we're probably going to be chasing those those war wagons for years, aren't we? Ah, typical. Okay, you lot. Get to the Empire Knights. Yeah, it really just going to be those war wagons at the end, isn't it? Although, potentially, as some of these guys start moving out of the out of bounds, we might end up seeing more reinforcements arrive. I'm not sure this has been everything or not. I'm not certain. Not yet, sir. Okay, go on, boys. Keep chasing. Yeah, I think we just need to speed things up. Uh, yeah, you keep chasing them, I suppose. Uh, where is... Oh, hang on. You, you back? There they are. So where's the spellcaster? Here he is. Now the Rocking Conduit. We have a lot of magic all of a sudden. So, I'm going to try and hit them with it. Okay, come on. And boom. So that should help. Okay, almost. Almost, guys. And let's get another one. It's not quite done the job, has it? Not really. Okay. Try and get up and around. Be easier if these guys stop chasing, to be honest. Okay, come on. Well, that was that was likely to happen. Oh, there we go. Now they're deciding to attack. All right, more magic? Mm, not really. War wagons, guys. Bane of my existence. Yeah, just kill the rest of the mounted warriors. That's fine. I'll just keep chasing these guys around. You know, I have all day. It's fine. And okay, seems they've been caught, and they broke. Wow, technically this guy survived. Although I don't, I don't like his chances. I don't like his chances. Really don't. Something, something tells me he's not going to survive. You know, those war wagons were simply too much for him. Just too much. Heroic victory. Hooray, we're heroes. 
definitely heroes. All us. It was us. We did it. We're heroes. We did kill a lot. Wow. Well played. Okay. Uh, let's kill him. Good stuff. Now get out of here. Hey, rebellion in Midland. Always. Always. But it's a chaos one, which means we're doing our job. Hooray. Okay, Hubus. Go keep him in line, yeah? You're either Archaeons, boys, or you, you, you're nothing. That simple. Confident Defender. What? Oh, for Sigvold. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's for Hubus. It's like, he clearly, he clearly attacked. Um, okay, but cool. Fine. Uh, assassinate Theodoric Bairn. I mean, I can probably do that. Can't be bothered. Don't know. I might remember. Might not. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, it's because we've got to get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, uh, so I, I mentioned this a while ago. Like, I couldn't exchange units earlier in the campaign. For some reason, it's because as long as there's still pop-ups, for some reason it doesn't let you. It's real weird. And now I can't find the flag. There we go. But like, seriously, what is up with that? Is that just a silly bug? Um, okay. You guys move across, and you guys move back. Excellent. And that is pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good indeed. To destruction. So, ruin. yeah, wonderful. We I love it. I love it. Also, uh, this guy was going to join too. I don't know why he hasn't. That's a bit weird. Do, do I want to kill this unicorn though? Not great odds. Let's just get to the army so we can get a move on. Yeah, love that. Got two. Two big old scary armies now. Very nice. So, uh, should we go over here and start murdering? Wow, there's a ludicrous amount of people here. But I don't think it matters because they're all they're all essentially just like peasant infantry. So, uh, let's just get over there. All right, and Tiro, it's your time to shine. I love that he's level 17 and we just got him. It's um, sort of disgusting, but in all the best ways, you know, in all the best ways. So let's have that. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to appear abandoned. Don't worry about it. And uh, we got 10% ward save. Ooh, should we give that to Intiro? Do you want a ward save, mate? It looks like you've got enough on your plate right now. Um, although Pigeon Pluck Appendant sucks, so... Have a Talisman of Protection. Good boy. And I suppose I should uh, level up his infrastructure a bit. Good. Good stuff. Uh, Colec. Where are you off to? You can head to Karaberg. Oh, Forb Le Beau is coming in here with his peasant mobs. He does have some Grail Knights though, but mostly peasant mobs. So I'll just sort of leave him alone for now. Alright. Yep. Good stuff. Pretty straightforward. You uh, keep doing you. Another possessed. Brilliant. Oh, you didn't actually have one. Uh, equipped, so that's extra research, right? There are souls that have been truly blessed by the gods, not quite spawn, but have received many gifts nonetheless. And go kill him now. Oh, he's gonna run away. Can you not? That's the. Oh. No. It's a bit annoying, actually. <laughs> that means that Midland's gonna survive another another turn. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, raise and plunder. Good boy. Good boy, Siggy. Good boy. And he's got his, uh, he's got all of his equipment now, which is lovely to see. And now, monstrous strength, perhaps? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, oh, wait, hang on a minute. Oh, no, blessed by Chaos, Chaos Warriors, that's, um, yeah, that's just Marauders. And, and Forsaken, but mostly Marauders. Yeah, let's go with monstrous strength. Let's level that up. He's got another three levels. Wow. He's leveled up a lot. I've just been ignoring him. Let's get all that done, I suppose. And corruption. Why the hell not? So yeah, more campaign move range, more corruption, more recruit rank. Good. So we can recruit ranks. So we need to replace those people that failed us. So who shall we get for you? It's gotta be Gorby's chariots, doesn't it? It's gotta be. They're so fun. Although we really do need cavalry, but really, the thing we need cavalry for is to sort of mop up ranged units. I think Gorby's chariots will do that perfectly fine. So let's get some Gorby's chariots. Um I'm also thinking I might get rid of the Chosen Great Weapons, even though they are phenomenally good. I am tempted to get rid of them just to make more room for more mobile units. I know. I know. 
I'm disgusting. Can't believe I do that, but it's fine. We could be picky. Uh, a couple of manticores might be a giggle, but I don't know how well they'd last. Um, we could potentially get some more Chaos Knights or something as well. Let's have a look. So I could get a couple of Blood God Cavalry, but that's um, the wrong god. So can't really have that. Uh, I could just get some Chaos Knights with Lances. So we got some, some solid Cavalry. Because the Chaos uh, Mounted Warriors, like, they're just not as good. They just have much lower stat lines. I mean, they got the Javelins, but like, do we need Javelins? Not really. So we'll get a couple of Chaos Knights with Lances. So that should be a much more flexible force. Which, uh, which we really do need. Definitely need a more flexible army. Just some, some more mobility. Uh, gives us more variety in gameplay there. Let's go with the Eye of the Gods and... Oh, we can be on a Manticore, finally. Hell yeah, love that. And Missile Resist. And now I'm sort of scared of um, flying units now. But we'll just have to pretend that that's not a consideration and uh, hope it all goes fine. I guess Specialist, because there's nothing else for you to get. So there we go. Have fun with that. So, Manticore. Manticores are huge leonine beasts with the wings of a giant bat and tails uh, that drip with poison. They are the fiercest of all chaotic mounts. This has a spelling mistake in it. This is this is vanilla content. And tails that drip with poison. Does anyone read these? Am I the only person who reads these things? Madness. Anyway, um, that's all good. Uh, also, you can build up your Chaos War Shrine. Lovely. Good stuff. And we are getting to a point now. Oh, let's upgrade that. We're getting to a point where uh, we're kind of almost... We've almost got rid of Bretonia now, I think. Oh, hang on. Look at that. Targoneth. Although, Tordranil here is still Aetane. So, the High Elves are still going. Tor Ivres seems to still be going okay. Well, just Ivres. Tor Ivres is the... Ivres Tower, isn't it? Anyway. Archeon. Burn down Kron. There's, like, nothing here. Yeah, okay. Oh, does say it might be a little challenging. Yeah, a lot of Grail Knights. And Knights of the Realm. Like, an awful lot of them. I still don't see them putting up much of a fight. But I feel like we do need to fight this, so we will do that next episode. Um, I did faff about towards the end of this episode, and it's gone on too long again. But you know what I'm like. I'm always doing this. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, tune in um, in a couple days for Kiran to be burnt down. Should be a laugh. See you then.